Turing machines provide a foundational theoretical model for understanding computation and symbol manipulation in artificial intelligence. A basic Turing machine is designed to study the transformation of strings through a formal and well-defined process. It consists of a finite set of states, a tape alphabet, an input alphabet, and a transition function that governs how the machine reads symbols, writes new symbols, and moves along the tape. Through this mechanism, Turing machines are capable of systematically generating all theorems that are provable within a given formal mathematical system. This expressive power allows them to model complex logical processes and even abstract concepts such as self-reproduction, where a system can encode and replicate descriptions of its own structure. Closely related to Turing machines is the finite state automaton, a simpler computational model defined by a limited number of states and transitions that depend on the current input and the machine's previous state. Finite state automata are commonly represented using state transition diagrams, such as those used for parity checking. Unlike Turing machines, finite automata lack unbounded memory and therefore cannot perform arbitrary computations. Nevertheless, they play an important role in artificial intelligence and computer science by modeling pattern recognition, lexical analysis, and other tasks that require controlled and predictable state behavior. A binary adder serves as a practical illustration of a finite state automaton. It processes two binary strings and produces a new string representing the sum. This example demonstrates how finite automata can operate on defined collections of strings and transform them into new collections through systematic rules. Although limited in power compared to Turing machines, such devices highlight how complex operations can emerge from simple, well-structured state transitions. The concept of the universal Turing machine represents a major milestone in the theory of computation. A universal Turing machine is capable of simulating any other Turing machine when provided with an appropriate encoding of that machine and its input. This idea establishes the principle of programmability and underlies modern general purpose computers. Contrary to some misconceptions, the universal Turing machine is theoretically feasible and is not invalidated by constraints such as unary string representations. Instead, it demonstrates that a single machine can embody all possible algorithmic behaviors reinforcing the central role of Turing machines in artificial intelligence and the theory of computation. Artificial intelligence is fundamentally concerned with the study of how machines can represent, manipulate and simulate phenomena that are finitely describable within formal systems. At its core, AI builds upon the idea that many real-world processes, behaviors, and events can be expressed as structured transformations of symbols. These transformations are governed by precise rules that allow machines to process information in a systematic and repeatable manner. The theoretical foundations of this approach are rooted in mathematical logic and the theory of computation where intelligence is examined not as a vague or mystical property, but as an emergent result of well-defined operations performed on symbolic representations. One of the most influential models in this theoretical framework is the Turing machine. A Turing machine provides a rigorous and abstract description of computation, demonstrating how complex processes can arise from simple mechanical operations. In its basic form, a Turing machine consists of a tape divided into cells, a finite set of internal states, a read-write head, and a transition function that dictates how the machine responds to symbols on the tape. Despite its simplicity, this model is powerful enough to describe any computation that can be algorithmically defined. This makes the Turing machine a central concept in artificial intelligence, as it establishes clear limits, on what machines can and cannot compute. 
The notion that a Turing machine can be simulated using two tapes with distinct heads further illustrates the flexibility of computational models. In such a configuration, the first tape contains a descriptive string that encodes the structure and transition rules of a particular Turing machine, effectively serving as its program. The second tape contains an unary string that represents the input to the machine. This separation between description and data is critical as it mirrors the distinction between software and input found in modern computing systems. It also highlights the idea that machines can operate not only on raw data, but also on symbolic descriptions of other machines, enabling higher levels of abstraction. This idea reaches its most profound expression in the concept of the universal Turing machine. A universal Turing machine is a single fixed machine that can simulate the behavior of any other Turing machine when provided with an appropriate description and input. Rather than building a new machine for each computational task, one can simply change the program string supplied to the universal machine. This insight laid the theoretical foundation for general purpose computers and programmable systems. In artificial intelligence, it reinforces the notion that intelligent behavior does not require specialized hardware for each task, but can instead emerge from flexible software operating on a universal computational substrate. Within this framework, a computer program can be understood as a string that formally describes a function. This function takes one set of strings, representing all possible valid inputs, and transforms them into another set of strings, representing the corresponding outputs. The program itself does not possess intelligence in isolation. Rather, intelligence arises from the structured interaction between the program, the machine that executes it, and the symbolic representations it manipulates. Artificial intelligence research extends this idea by investigating how increasingly sophisticated programs can perform tasks such as reasoning, learning, perception, and decision-making. The focus on finitely describable events is particularly important in AI as it defines the boundary between what can be formally modeled and what lies beyond current computational understanding. While many aspects of the physical world, biological processes, and even human cognition can be approximated through finite description, 